What I kind of wanted to address, because I know there's a lot of questions, I've had a number of people from the community come up to me, uh, many of them asking about handgun permits and just really fear. Um, and I think that really revolves from the questions I've got around two main issues. And one is, was this, um, was this a random act, A, and what were the motivations behind it? I think uh, for most people, um, we want to find something in you know, a tragedy like this that could explain why this couldn't possibly happen to me. And what I can tell you from our investigation that has revealed so far um, is this was not a random act. Neither the victim nor his department were selected randomly. And what our investigation has concluded at this point is that the victim did absolutely nothing um, out of the ordinary or in any way that would explain why this was done to him. Okay. Now, why I can say that, why this wasn't random, as far as our investigation, what we looked at, um, we had three people and we wanted to determine what was the relationship between the victims. Um, what I can tell you regarding Ms. Mr. Collins and Mrs. Featherston is that there was absolutely no prior relationship. Our investigation has revealed that they, the best that we can tell at this point, they never had a conversation. Um, now, in regards to Donald Featherston, um, he also has had no prior formal introduction or conversation with the victim. However, the nexus that exists is the victim's girlfriend. Mr. Featherston had dated her prior to her relationship with the victim. And for that reason, we began to look at that relationship. Um, what we learned is that a number of actions were taken by Mr. Featherston long before uh, the death of our victim in this case. And those began almost a year prior. Uh, these actions were not known by either the victim or his girlfriend. Those actions included following um, our victim from the girlfriend's house to his apartment on more than one occasion, and random trips to the parking lot to determine whether the victim's car was there. The reason for that was if the car was there, he was not with the girlfriend. And these happened, like I said, over the course of approximately a year before this incident. In regards to Mr. Collins, and Mrs. Featherston, what we've been able to determine is that they were um, approached um, for this crime from the standpoint of, or motivation of profit. Whereas with Mr. Featherston, um, his reason or motivation for this appears to be that he um, wanted to reinitiate his relationship with his uh, prior girlfriend and that without our victim in the picture that that could be accomplished. Um, again, I just want to emphasize that neither the victim nor his girlfriend, based on our investigation, had any knowledge of these events um, leading up to or after uh, the incident. So. I hope that that at least answers some of the, the broader questions regarding this investigation. I know that there's